This is the Hover Air X1. It is pretty amazing, and it's super light. It's just 125 grams, or just under 4.5 ounces, so it's lighter than a phone, and you don't need to register it with the FAA. Completely foldable, too. It comes with uh, two batteries, the package I got, and each battery lasts about 10 minutes. Now, they're tiny batteries. So you're sacrificing power for, for weight. So get your video in under 10 minutes. You're not going to have a problem. Then bring it back and swap it out. But this is as easy as it is. You can fly this thing indoors safely, which is a game changer. And it takes off from the palm of your hand. It does have a gimbal that moves around and follows you, as I'll show you the footage in a second. Now, there are several options. There's Intelligent Flight Pass. So it has Hover, Follow, Zoom, Orbit, Bird's Eye, and more. So all kinds of settings that you can control via the app or on the unit yourself. You can fly this thing without your phone and it will record the video to the device itself, and it'll store it until you're ready to download it. And downloading is super simple. You just use the app on your phone, you bring it down, it gives you like a, a low-res low preview, and then you bring it in your phone at full resolution. I'll show you what that looks like. It's pretty darn clean. And this is what the real footage looks like taken from the drone. You can capture audio, but I believe it defaults to your phone, your phone's microphone. So that is a possibility if you want to do that. But this thing is uh, its pretty mind-blowing, too. It does a really good job. Here's all the settings. You can't go much higher than 50 feet. So this thing's not going to go as far as a more expensive drone. But that's not really what this thing was meant to do. It's meant for, like, bicyclists, for people who are running, people doing product review videos, or if you just want to do, like, blogs and stuff and keep it close to you. And, again, even indoors. I've flown this thing indoors a number of times. And if it does bump into something, it doesn't damage anything because the soft cage around it will shh, it'll kind of soften the, the impact, and then it just stops and lands. So that's pretty cool. Lots of settings in here, including some very, very high-quality video. They're continually updating the firmware. I just did a firmware update before I recorded this, and it added a couple of new features to this thing. But this is, uh, this is some mind-blowing stuff, especially at this price level. Took some outdoor shots and uh, using some bicycle stuff, and here's what we found. You can actually see some real footage from the Hover Air X1. You can watch for yourself and see why we're such huge fans of this device. We're shooting it. It's a really, you can see the palm fronds really moving. It takes a bunch of wind to move those fronds. It's actually pretty windy. I said we have wind out here. You see Felicia's shirt blowing about, I think it's about 10 to 15 miles an hour. And considering this is under four and a half, ounces it's pretty darn stable considering and you'll see the footage you just saw the footage this thing's like moving all over the place and somehow it writes the footage this is the actual footage being blown around it's pretty darn stable you have to admit considering what's going you just saw what was happening to that drone and it managed to keep the footage pretty stable this is an amazing product there's some mind-blowing groundbreaking engineering going on here so we're using it for all our bike videos now we actually sold are more expensive drones. Yeah, it was time to upgrade anyway, but I think this is going to do everything we needed to do. Hover Air X1. Love this thing.